Hey there, my name is Chris Calabro, and I'm the founder of Inotium. In this video, I'd like to show you how to install your modic tracking code on your WordPress site. Now, there are a few different ways you can do this, but I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest and quickest way to get started using modic in WordPress, and that is using this WP modic plugin. So the easiest way to install this is to just go to your WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, and then search for WP Modic. It should be the first result that pops up. So hit install now and activate. And then the first thing we have to do is go to our settings for the plugin. And here there's really only one thing you need to change or one setting you need to add in order to get started. And that is your Modic URL. So to get this modic URL, what you're going to do is go over to your modic dashboard, go to your settings, configuration. You should be in system settings and under this general settings area, you're going to grab your site URL. Yours may look a little different than mine. You may have modic installed in a subdomain, um, but either way, you're going to grab this site URL go back to your plugin settings in WordPress, paste that in there, and save changes. Now, I'm not going to walk through all the other options here, um, but I do recommend, in most cases, changing the tracking script location to be embedded within the footer. This just means the tracking script won't delay the loading of your pages, which it would if you had it in the header. So I recommend, in most cases, embedding it within the WP footer section. And then also, if for some reason your visitors have JavaScript disabled, you should just enable this option here, which allows um, the plugin to use a tracking image instead of the JavaScript snippet to track your users. So the three things you really want to change to get started, again, put your modic URL, go with the footer, and activate the tracking image. And again, we'll hit save changes. And that's all there is to it. To confirm that you actually have the tracking JavaScript installed, you can visit your site. And what you want to do is view the source for your page. And from here, what I'm going to do is search within this page for mtc.js. And this mtc.js, if I zoom in a bit so you can see, I know this is part of the script for uh, the modic tracking code. So you can see right here that the modic tracking code is enabled. And you can also see this little bit of code here. If there is no JavaScript, it will load this image. So that's all there is to it.